What's going on? How are you guys today? It's been absolutely beautiful in New York for the past two days. Just when I was about to make a video titled The Summer Without a Sun. I guess some uh, uh, of the upper tier echelon parasite elite people had to visit New York so they stopped spraying uh, chemicals in the air for a couple days. Good news, I get to tan so you know I only spent an hour or two at work yesterday and today. Got out in the sun for two, three hours around peak UVB. I, I think actually the only two days this summer so far I've been able to go out and there was nothing blocking the sun. So full UVB, feeling pretty good. I uh, took some B vitamins and I had a little bit of a smoothie uh, before I went out. I'll show you guys the same smoothie with this meal. But I'm back to kind of like what I deem as the very basic minimally inflammatory meal. Just lean steak, uh, some white rice, some cannellini beans, all organic to remove as many chemicals as possible. And we're going to have that smoothie. I might add a little bit of peanut butter just because I'm feeling like it, but uh, that hasn't been what I've been doing. So let me just show you guys the meal. So I diced up some New York strip steak. Uh, we took the boxed cannellini beans, warmed them up a little bit in the pan, and that pan now has some white rice uh, that I cooked yesterday just in a steel pot with some glass bottled mineral water, some salt, a little bit of coconut oil. Uh, the problem with the Instant Pot is there's still a little bit of rubber and I do worry about uh, chemicals leaching into it. So uh, this is actually just about as easy as the Instant Pot. So I don't, I don't mind doing this instead. So that's the core of our meal. I have my blender already rinsed out. Uh, we're going to put some water kefir in here uh, with some frozen bananas, some macadamia nut butter, salt, vanilla, and a little bit of honey. I'll show you guys the recipe anyway, but if you didn't see my video last Saturday, a healthy weight gain smoothie, where I explain why I do it, the nutritional components, definitely check it out because I'm not going to go into as much detail today. Uh, so I put some bananas on a plate in the freezer to get them cold. Uh, these actually aren't cold enough, but they should still uh, get the smoothie a little thick. About a cup of water kefir, eight ounces, about a tablespoon of macadamia nut butter. This is unusual. I got the landscapers in the background, my dad behind the camera looking at me, my mom's on her phone talking to someone else. A little bit distracting. They're running the residential laundromat downstairs. How many times do you run the dishwasher? Uh, not the dishwasher, the, the dryer. Dishwasher and once a day, absolutely every day. And that's the, not the main complaint. The, the dryer and the uh, washing machine, mostly Frank's clothes. Uh, about, yeah, uh, what do you wash, one t-shirt at a time? About, I'd say about four uh, loads a day. That's a lot of laundry. Are you, on, are you on camera? Yes. Yeah, we're on camera, you want to say something? What do I want to say? She says it's the, the, the uh, industrial laundry downstairs is too noisy. You're running a residential laundromat. I says, but most of, most yes. of it, most it's, of it is his clothes. It's out of control. I'm not saying whose, but it's out of control. By the way, all you beautiful ladies out there, he's available. And he's Gina's been, Ma, Gina's been saying like, that for the past two I years. Know. It's not working. He will treat you like gold. Yeah, they There's a lot of uh, pirate gold at the bottom of the ocean. What? Pirate gold? Where'd she go? Did she got pirate gold? No, I was joking that she said I would treat women like gold, and I said oh, there's oh, a lot oh, of gold right. at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Was here. No, like this. His whole ass was. His whole ass was out. Why do you see that? All right. So the the smoothie is. All right. You guys saw the smoothie. Oh, we forgot the lemon. This is mainly for flavor. It's not that much vitamin C. So I go through about one bag of my enzyme blend every week. And I'm going to have it before the meal today because I did have that smoothie earlier, so I do have something in my stomach. And this I just take with the regular water kefir. We did run out this week, but I should have some available by tomorrow. So check out FrankieSyringeFoods.com if you guys want the water kefir. And we got the enzyme blend and organ supplements. Oh, we did run out of the masticum, but I should have some within about two weeks. I am very well trained. Frank, is that the vomit you ran out of? Yes. Alright, that's good. You sell it a lot. I can't imagine people thinking that. Well, I'm surprised people thinking the vomit is still alive. It's probably blaming it on the virus. 
Frankie's killing him off with the vomit drink. My family is not a fan of the water keeper. Oh, oh God. I understand the concept. It's fermented stuff, but it's supposed to be good to get gut. So typically I'll eat half of this, like half the meat, half the rice, half the beans, and then, you know, I'll do some work, I'll lay down a couple hours, and then I'll have the rest at night. Because, you know, this one plate is way, way, way too much food uh, for one meal, maybe even too much food for two meals, but it's nice. I only have to cook once, and everything's done. <clears throat> so after this meal, I'm going to have that smoothie, but at night, I don't usually make the smoothie. I usually just have, like, one or two bananas, and then maybe a little bit of macadamia nut butter. Want to show them what I eat? Can't even tell what that is. The meatloaf? Yeah. Was that meatloaf and mashed potatoes? Yeah. Well, that's actually one of your better meals. Really? Homemade. It's got nothing bad in it. No, they're too expensive. I, uh, I'm not eating them. It caused his penis to get smaller. I wasn't able to find it last week. We lost it alone. Ma, t Ma, tell them how you guys buy hundreds of dollars of food worth a week and I have nowhere to put my food, but you're still eating my food. This is true. You got your own refrigerator downstairs. Let me show you Frankie's cabinet. I don't have my own pantry. Yeah. They, see, they see it every week, Ma. They see it every week. The they know my pantry in the dining room. Pile of food on the floor. But you got a refrigerator in the garage. Yeah, but most of my food isn't refrigerated. Look at the counter. Everything's yours. Scan the counter. <laughs> Scan, yeah, scan the counter. I see, I see, I see your coffee maker, yeah. I see your knives, your I see bottles, Lucille's your, your, your tools. Mixer, all, your, all your food on the stove. It's, about, it's roughly 50 50. Yeah, no, I don't think so. It's like 90 10. He I barely not, get into my coffee maker. He was not that good at math. So I'm going to go upstairs and drink my smoothie. Uh, this actually isn't a full day of eating, but I, I will show you guys the second meal because uh, early before I. Went out to tan, as I said, I had uh, one of these smoothies and I took some of my B-complex, which is natural ratios of all the B vitamins, the same amount that would be in steak. One serving, I think, is roughly one pound of steak. So I'll see you guys tonight. So I'm back in the kitchen for meal number two. I know I said earlier the water kefir might be available tomorrow, but it's looking more like Friday or Saturday. so. Uh, don't check until the weekend guys uh, but to start off meal number two i'm going to have my digestive enzymes and uh, i usually go for about a heaping teaspoon so my food has not moved since about eight hours ago we usually just leave it out even in the summer i mean really basic guys we got the B vitamins, the animal protein, a bunch of minerals in the steak. Of course, we got cholesterol, a bunch of other nutrients like choline that are very, very important for cell function. The rice, predominantly carbohydrates, just clean, feed the gut bacteria, give the body energy. Small amount of gut motility, but low in fiber. And then the beans are for that type of fiber, for the gut motility, for the variety. And a uh, decent amount of certain minerals in beans as well. Uh, so I'm kind of full, so what I'll do is I'll just have a little bit of a dessert after the meal. So, as I mentioned earlier, I'll have the smoothie in the beginning of the day, and then at night, I'll just have some of the components separately. So I'll have usually banana and some macadamia nut butter. I've never tried these together. I usually just have a couple of spoonfuls of this, and then I'll have the banana, but I guess we could try it together today. Probably need some salt on this. I mean, it's pretty good together, too. And the potassium content of the banana is really high, so if I don't add salt, enough salt to the meal, I end up getting a constipation, actually. This is like the only natural, calorically dense snack I can think of that's low in omega-6. That's not like processed or cooked, actually, so definitely worth trying out if you're trying to gain weight. What I like doing at the end of the meal is I rinse my mouth out or well, I swish and swallow a few times with water kefir to kind of like move the food particles away and 
repopulate my oral microbiome with a good probiotic. Uh, well, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this day of eating. Uh, so you can check out everything I've mentioned on frank stefanocom That'll link you to all of my individual businesses. But please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow.